Would you like some ideas for crafting through those piles of paper? I got you. Today's virtual class will help you use up that pattern paper, bust through your stash by teaching you a simple formula for making what? Envelopes out of your pattern paper. All right, I want you to watch all the steps so you can learn every detail. There's minimal measuring, minimal sum assembly required. It's so simple. When you have the secret formula, are you ready to create some crafts? Close your eyes. I'm going to turn the camera down now. Hello, hello. Welcome, my crafty friends. Come on in. I'm Dawn, creator of Didi Creates Crafts, and this is the channel for simple cards, duplicatable crafts, and helpful hints for crafting through some crafty issues that bug us all. And today, it's about busting through our pattern paper. You know who you are. You collect it. You store it. You hoard it. You're saving it for a rainy day. Pretend it's raining. This is a project you're going to use. All right. So I'm going to show you how to make Envelopes, aren't they cute? Close right up. You can put a sticker on the front. All my paper is double-sided. If you have less expensive or box store pattern paper where it's white on the outside, I want you to set up your pattern papers so the white will be on the outside. For those of us that have the nice double-sided, and I intentionally choose double-sided because I feel like I get more bang for my buck because I can use this side, I can use this side, and I can treat them like separate pieces of pattern paper. So that's the method to my madness. Then let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need to make your envelopes. You're gonna need your pattern paper. You're gonna need some adhesive of choice. You are gonna need a ruler, you guys, and you're gonna need a paper trimmer. Uh, no score, just paper trimmer, adhesive we said, and the greeting card that you want to measure. You are gonna need a greeting card. So if you use A2, A7, A5, whatever is for you, this secret formula is gonna work for you. All right, so I'm gonna get out a solid piece of paper, show and tell, and then get to cutting. So your first step, first step, first step is to measure your card. So let's get out our rulers like I shared. Now let me show you how we're gonna measure it. We're actually gonna measure corner to corner, diagonal to diagonal, if you will. So I'm gonna use my finger as a little buffer, a little end point to put my point. I'm gonna come over here and it looks like uh, I'm gonna say seven inches. So what you're gonna do, part of your secret formula, the main part is you're gonna add one inch. So let me see, this card is five and a half by four and a quarter, if you will. This one even looks a little smaller. No, it's four and a quarter, thank you for that. So diagonal dial is seven to seven, so eight inches. If you want to be safe or have a little extra wiggle room, go to eight and a half. I think on the machines that only do the scoring, they recommend eight and a half for a size A2 card. Let's try the eight, maybe even, I'm going to go eight and a quarter, you guys. Let's go eight and a quarter and show and tell and just see how it goes. Here's how it's going to go. We're going to lay our card down. You're going to gently, gently fold over the top. We don't want it skin tight because we want it to uh, have room to slide the card in and out, all right? Then you're gonna open that back up, do it on the other side, open it up, and repeat that on each of the four sides. So you've got your card in the middle. Should I should have had a little more room up there. I did better with my folds out here. But you can see the approximate. So you can do your measuring or you can do what I do, the approximate. And you can see uh, the lines. You can see, you can see. Now the corners I did here, you can either leave them or you can cut them. If you're gonna cut them, a little secret to success is to do just inside of your score lines, your, I call them score lines, the fold lines that we made ourselves. So you're gonna cut out all four corners like that. So let's put some of this into practice. I just wanted you to see a kind of simple sort of kind of template. So let's come in and let's, I'm gonna measure, cause you wanna pre-cut your paper if you will. So I'm gonna go with my eight and a half. So let's cut our paper the actual pattern paper at eight and a half. 
I started with a 12 by 12 piece. You definitely could use the eight and a half by 11, just cut it on down to your eight and a half by eight and a half. If you've got a one-way pattern, make sure your pattern is set to the top of your cutting blade so that it runs in a good direction. All right, so now I'm gonna put my, my thingamabobby, my actual score away. I, we really could use either side. I think I'm gonna use the lighter side for my outside. Now, it's helpful, helpful, helpful to have a grid, mainly so you can get the center, all right? So I'm gonna put, yeah, you can see me, top point there, bottom point there. Where's my center points? Let me scoot this on, scooch it on up. Recenter, scooch it on up, center, scooting, centering, got it, all right? So I feel as close as humanly possible, all four corners are good to go. Now, do you like this? Show and tell, this is one of my March card class cards. You can get this totally for free with a Stampin' Up! order with me in the month of March. You get three kits to make three cards and the kit to make the gift box to put the cards into. Fun! So I thought I'd sneak peek show that to you as we're making our cards. Now, we either eyeball this and line it up as best you can. My card is five and a half, so I could easily measure down seven. So five and a half, that'd be like two and a quarter, right? Let me come down a little more this way. Okay, to get it centered. And then that way, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Let's say four and a half. Quarter. I'm looking, looking. I think I need a higher. I just got to eyeball it, you guys, and I'll tell you a secret. I just got to tell you a secret. I just got to true confess, and I did this on the wrong side, but that's okay. I'll flip it over. Just lightly do my folds. See that and that. Okay, I'm happy. I don't want it too tight like I shared with you. And kind of watch your little corners so they're little bit centered as much as humanly possible so let me try this side again see if I got centered pretty stinking good because then move your little card out of the way and we've got our folds so you're going to come back and just burnish your folds into place and I told you I want the lighter side on the outside I may wait and see how my hearts go what direction if they look wonky or if they look cute you know What kind of videos would you guys like me to make for you to help you use up your piles of pretty pattern paper so you're not just saving it, you're using it. You're, I want you to get joy out of your paper. You're not truly enjoying your paper if it's in a pile. You might have forgotten about it, it's just sitting there, what have you, but I want you to truly enjoy it. So I wanna give you some ideas for using it up. All right, I gotta repeat this just in case you're just tuning in. I want you to cut the little triangle guy out just inside, just barely inside the little folded corners. Normally I'd say the score lines, but we did fold it. Just a little inside. It'll just make your folding easier. Where's my other guy? That one doesn't look like I have much of a fold line. This one, yeah. I think I'm goofed a little bit, but I have to tell you something funny. Every time I make these envelopes, my little corners, these guys I'm cutting out, they're never the same size. And then I'll show you where else. Did that even cross over? This one is so small, you can tell it's obvious to me that my card wasn't centered. But guess what? It's still gonna work, it's still gonna work. So let's, do I want it this way? Let's see if it's gonna work. I kinda like that. They're going a little bit diagonal. I'm okay with either. So let me put my little baby card back in and just kind of fold the inner corners in. And then this guy's gonna fold up. So see how that surely doesn't equal that? Okay, I gotta tell you, that has happened to me every time I've made my cards, my envelopes, but 
An envelope's an envelope, an envelope. It's still gonna work. Isn't that a hoot? And guess what? The card is the star of the show. I just wanna share with you ways to use your pretty pattern paper. Now you can leave that point or you can cut it off a little bitty bit. Because mine are even, I'm just gonna cut off a little bitty bit. That looks pretty good, huh? Now that's sticking up a little, it's sticking out a little. So I'm gonna come in here with my detail scissors on the correct side of my card of my envelope and give it a little snip. How are you guys doing so far with everything we're doing? How are you doing? I did want to share with you, if you haven't figured out already, all the craft supplies I use in my videos are Stampin' Up! products. I shared with you I want quality products, I want products that are going to last, and I do enjoy the fact that the cardstock has two sides. So let me fold this down. So I can feel I made it a little too tight, so I'm going to loosen that up a little, and guess what? I'm going to cut that off. It's kind of mistake-proof. And you've seen my videos before. It's like, just keep going. Just keep making your cards. Just keep going. Mistakes fix themselves or we can fix them. So it's stinking cute, don't you think? A handmade envelope. Now I see that's folding down. That does bug me. Not everything for me has to be perfect, but little bitty things I just want to perfect on. So now it's good. It'll close up. And look, we've got our own handmade envelope. How stinking cute is that? So we could come back at this point. You could put one of those labels, address labels on it. You could make a fancy, pretty little die cut for your address label. Put the stamp on it. What do you think, Somar? Are you having fun? Did you learn something new? Go boop, hit the like button, and just let me know you like the video. Now, for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is subscribe. I want you to find me again. I wanna see your crafts. I wanna see what you're making. Yeah, we're giving it another haircut, you guys. It's not the perfect of envelopes, but I want you to see it doesn't have to be. I want you to see you can make this, and I want you to see they're mistake-proof. They don't have to be perfect. They're too cute and fun, and guess what? They're gonna use up your pretty piles of pattern paper. So let me know in the comments section, what do you think? Are you gonna make these? Do you love it? You could even do it with something that's a little wider, thicker than a card. You just add your one inch plus half an inch to the actual paper, pattern paper, before you start playing and doing what we just did. What? And then did I have my other envelopes? I can't find them. You can see this one. This one I just made. I'll take some pictures and put it out there for ya. I'm gonna turn you the camera up now so that you can, we can say goodbye. All right, you like them? Let me know if you like these, if you're gonna make them in the comment section because I want you to remember three things. I want you to remember all the supplies, the list of supplies, the supply uh, link for ordering the supplies are in the description section below. Remember to watch the playlist called Show Off Both Sides of Your Pattern Paper. And remember to share a picture of what you learned today on Dee Dee Creates Crafts Facebook page. Turn in the camera up now for real. Gonna say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed the little envelopes. Let me do my thingy on the front, my little die cut. That, would you love to receive this in the mail? Wouldn't you enjoy some Happy Meal with a handmade envelope? So cute, mistake proof, doesn't matter the exact measurements, as you can tell. Anyway, I hope you had fun. I hope you'll make this and show me your projects on Dee Dee Creates Crafts Facebook page. Bye, you guys.